Hi, welcome to Well to Health. Today we will discuss about high uric acid level and gout. First of all, we will discuss about what is uric acid. Uric acid is one of the byproducts of purine metabolism. Purines are part of our DNA. Xanthine is broken down by xanthine oxidase to produce uric acid. Majority of the uric acid that is nearly 75% is excreted via kidney and the remaining 25% is excreted through stools or alimentary route. Uric acid level will be normal when the production versus excretion is balanced. Uric acid levels will go up if the production is more or if the excretion is less. Both can contribute to elevated levels of uric acid. Moreover, uric acid is one of the anti-inflammatory metabolite. If so, then why are we worried if it is elevated? The main reason is it gets deposited in joints, mainly the small joints of hand and foot leading to inflammation and pain in those joints, which is also called gout. We'll discuss in detail about gout in the next section. The other problem with uric acid levels is that it gets deposited in the kidney leading to kidney stones and in some cases the uric acid crystals can block the nephrons. Nephrons are the small units inside kidney where urine production starts. So uric acid deposition in these nephrons may lead to a condition called crystalline nephropathy which in turn may lead to kidney damage or failure if it is not treated early. And studies have shown that Elevated uric acid level is usually an early sign of developing other lifestyle diseases like diabetes, elevated blood pressure or cardiac blockages. Now we will discuss about gout. Gout is the inflammation of small joints due to uric acid deposition. As you see, uric acid crystals are sharp edged. Deposition of these leads to severe inflammation of the joints. It can be so severe that it can make the affected people unable to move the limbs. And if someone with gout is not treated early and promptly, then it can cause chronic or prolonged pain and severe debility. It can also lead to deformity of the small giants of foot and hand. The other major problem with elevated uric acid level is the kidney stones. Usually these stones in kidney goes unnoticed till it becomes so big that it can damage the kidney function. Now coming on to what causes increase in uric acid levels. The most important is genetic problem leading to errors in metabolism as nearly two third part of uric acid production is endogenous. So this is the main component which leads to elevated uric acid. Only one third comes from the dietary purines. Foods rich in purines can lead to elevated uric acid level. Most protein rich food like non-vegetarian food and pulses are one of the main causes. Other reasons include excessive consumption of sugars including fructose. So excessive consumption of fruits can be bad for the uric acid level. The other most important factor nowadays is the high fructose corn syrup also mentioned as HFCS on the packaging which is the main sweetener used in most processed foods. Nowadays, as the consumption of processed foods has gone up, leading to excessive high fructose corn syrup ingestion by people, probably this is the most commonest and most important factor leading to elevated uric acid levels in the population. Now, coming on to the topic, how to reduce uric acid levels. First and foremost is to reduce the quantity of protein intake this doesn't mean that we have to completely stop the protein intake. Rather, this means that we have to limit the quantity of protein intake. Occasionally consuming protein food is not an issue because protein is required for our muscles and other organs of the body. So completely stopping the protein is not the right way. And completely avoid sweetened beverages and beer. And it is better to avoid processed foods like biscuits or other packed items which contain 
high fructose corn syrup you can look into packaging of any processed foods if it is mentioned as high fructose corn syrup or hfcs it is better to avoid those and you may have to consult your doctor for extensive tests and in spite of diet control if you still have high uric acid levels you may require medication hope this information was useful to you share and subscribe way to health